Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial. Taking screenshots on restricted apps can be tricky, but there are ways to bypass this limitation safely and effectively. In this video, I'll guide you step by step on how to do it on your Android device. Before we begin, understand that app restrictions are often in place for security or privacy reasons. So proceed with caution and use these methods responsibly. The first method we'll explore involves using Google Assistant. Most Android devices come with Google Assistant pre-installed. To use this method, open the restricted app where you want to take a screenshot. Then activate Google Assistant by saying, Hey Google, or holding the home button. When the Assistant opens, say, Take a screenshot. The Assistant will capture the screen and give you the option to save or share the image. If the Google Assistant method doesn't work for your device, the second option is using a third-party app designed to capture screenshots in restricted areas. Apps like Screenshot Easy or Screen Master are popular choices. You can find these apps on the Google Play Store. Install the app, grant the required permissions, and follow its specific instructions to take screenshots. These apps often use floating buttons or overlays that bypass restrictions. If you're still unable to take a screenshot, another option is enabling developer mode. To do this, go to your device's settings, scroll to About Phone, and tap on the build number seven times. You'll see a notification that developer mode is enabled. Go back to the main settings menu, find developer options, and look for the setting labeled Disable Secure Flag. Enabling this option might allow you to take screenshots in restricted apps. Note that not all devices have this option. For users with rooted devices, you have additional options. Root access allows you to modify the operating system's restrictions. Apps like Exposed Framework with a module like Disable Flag Secure can completely bypass screenshot restrictions. However, rooting your device comes with risks, including voiding your warranty and potential security vulnerabilities. Only proceed if you are confident in what you're doing. If none of these methods work, you can also use a workaround involving a second device. Simply use another phone or a camera to take a picture of the screen. This might not produce the clearest image, but it's a reliable option if all else fails. Remember, the methods discussed here should only be used for ethical purposes. Always respect the rules and policies of the apps you are using. If you need to take screenshots for professional or personal reasons, consider reaching out to the app support team to request access. That's it for this tutorial. Follow these steps carefully and you'll be able to capture screenshots in restricted apps on Android. Thanks for watching.